On May 7, 1907, astronomers worldwide eagerly awaited the transit of Mercury, a rare event where Mercury passes directly between Earth and the Sun. Occurring only 13 to 14 times per century, this phenomenon was crucial for refining planetary orbits. At Greenwich Observatory, teams calibrated brass telescopes and calculated Mercury's predicted path using Newtonian mechanics. Historical records show such transits helped measure the astronomical unit, the Earth-Sun distance, with unprecedented precision. As the clock struck 1112 UTC, Mercury emerged as a crisp black dot against the Sun's fiery chromosphere only one 194th of the solar disk's diameter. Early 20th century astronomers noted the black drop effect, where Mercury appeared to cling to the Sun's limb due to atmospheric distortion. This moment validated Edmund Halley's 18th century prediction that transits could determine celestial scales. Spectrograph plates captured Mercury's silhouette with unprecedented clarity for the era. For over five hours, Mercury traversed the solar disk at 48 kilometers per second, its path meticulously charted using heliometers. Astronomers discovered the planet's lack of atmosphere as its silhouette remained sharply defined against solar granulation. This 1907 transit was particularly significant, occurring during solar minimum. It allowed clearer observations than during active periods. French astronomer Pierre Janssen compared findings with 1878 data noting orbital refinements. The 1907 transit contributed to the International Meridian Conference's standards, reducing celestial navigation errors by 30%. Glass plate negatives from this event helped Einstein test relativity in 1915. Contemporary newspapers hailed it as Victorian astronomy's crowning achievement. Today, NASA uses transit data from this era to study Mercury's orbital decay proving these century-old observations still fuel modern discovery.